Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Let go, let God. You probably heard that expression before, but do you know what it means? Because it does not mean that, oh well, as long as I pray to God, I'm gonna be all right, blah, 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 blah. No, no, no. That's the thing. A lot of people get wrong about God or the universe or source or whatever you might want to label this actual thing we're talking about. But I like to say God, especially to spite my old atheist self that would have hated <laughs> hearing someone talk about God in this way. But look, God only helps those that help themselves first, all right? You can't just, you know, don't take action towards whatever you want in life and sit and pray and expect that God will fix it for you. No, God will help you when you help yourself first. So what let go, let God really is, is a mindset. I don't think people understand how much God, the divine, is correlated with a mindset. The mind is the divine thing here, all right? So what it really means, let go, let God, is let go of thinking things must happen your way and let them happen God's way. The only way they're possible, okay? So this is again something I realized that I practiced before without understanding it at the time. But let's talk about how I used to do things in my former life before I experienced all those panic attacks and when I was my, you know, loser, skinny fat hipster, hedonist, partying, um, slut maker, meaning hooking up with women, kind of, yeah, that person, when I was that person, I, well, there were many things that I felt like I couldn't do and it had, you know, because I had a very fixed idea, it must happen this way and clearly things aren't happening that way right now, so it's, it's not possible. It's just not possible. For instance, I had this huge stage fright, like both acutely that in actual stage situations, like standing in front of an audience, holding a speech or singing, because I've been doing a lot of singing. I've gone to choir school. That made me extremely nervous and I hated it because I felt like this is actually something I'm good at, especially just talking. I'm all right at singing, <laughs> but I'm not as passionate about getting to do that in front of an audience, but I really felt like, you know, I'm someone that can teach people, reach out, inspire with some kind of message, you know, and uh, as an extension of that, I was also afraid of having like a YouTube channel like this, not that I would have been like physically nervous about recording a YouTube video, but I, I would just be nervous putting it out there, uh, risking being judged, right? And so I felt like, you know, this thing that I want to do, like have a YouTube channel or whatever. I didn't know exactly what it was, but you know, I had an idea. I can't do it because I have this thing that's blocking me and that thing needs to go away before I can do it, right? And so I was looking for all these ways of like curing the stage fright before actually doing the thing, you know, looking for techniques, medication, you know, I had beta blockers, it well blocked some of the physical symptoms like tremor, but um, it doesn't really do anything for you. You're not calm on the inside just because of that. And you know, it's in the end, it just led to me never fully, do, like just running from these situations. And I felt like I, I, I'm fucked. Uh, it's something wrong with the world uh, or, or me, you know, it's just something wrong that's in the way. And because I am so attached to it must happen this way, it just didn't happen. Then all those panic attacks started, right? And while I didn't have this developed mindset of like thinking that, okay, so what it is, let go, let God, it is that no matter what happens when you're in pursuit of your goals or whatever you want, you have to trust that you, you might have some idea of what it might look like. And that, that's fine that you're speculating in a sense, you know, but you can't be attached to it. You have to understand that in order for you to reach your goal, whatever must happen will happen. And that's many times it's going to be something that you did not choose. You did not expect that might look like the opposite. That might make you feel like, no, it's lost. I'm fucked. It can't possibly happen this way, right? And so the panic attacks, when they started, I felt like, like you know, shit, it's over. Like, how will I ever get over this? I fucked up. Why me? Why? You know? Uh, but 
I realized that the alternative to trying, trying to go to all these situations that gave me panic uh, and that, was either killing myself because of the acute discomfort of this, can't be living like this, or living as a complete shut-in. And I had always been running, like I said, with a stage fright thing. I, when it wasn't the way I wanted it to, uh, I, I just, you know, opted out, gave up on the thing and never got what I wanted. Now, I think there's a quote. It's something like, when, when the fear of unknown is, uh, gets less than the fear of, uh, what is it? Well, I'm not figuring out the exact quote right now, but it's like, this was enough to push me and I wasn't thinking, like, literally than that, ah, oh, but this is what must happen for me to reach my goals. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I very much had thoughts that, like, I, I fucked up and that. But on some level, I was still thinking, no, it must. It must work. It must work. Like, I couldn't, because the, the other choices I said there, ending it or living as a shut-in, I, I couldn't accept it. It must work. Even though I don't feel like it, I can see how this is taking me to what I want, overcoming this, but it must work. And it didn't look like that a lot during that journey with the panic attack. Many times I'm like, fuck, you know, when I when I managed to do okay, maybe go to my job a couple of days in a row and be like, oh, it was actually okay, you know. And then I have a panic attack on the third day. I'm like, fuck, I'm back. It's not getting better, you know. But it did in the end, because even though I wasn't thinking literally of it like that at that time, I let go and let God, I let go of the attachment of things having to happen in the way I think they should and just let them happen in the way they had to in order for me to overcome it and then I did. Do you understand? So my message to you in this video is that like when we're motivated and that, sometimes like with training progress, it's quite linear, you know, you know that yeah, I'm gonna try to beat what I did in the gym the last time. And then you go and you're highly motivated, you're a good driver, then you do and it's like, yeah, and you're, you're eating well and you're just getting stronger. Yeah, sometimes the, the road forward is quite straight, straightforward, you know, but some many times it's not. It's not. And especially for you that are struggling with weight loss and that, you see yourself failing. Uh, it, this is again why I'm so tired of people like, oh, what's the fastest way, blah, blah, blah. Like, never mind about that. Let's make you able to stick for it for long enough. Like the fastest way. We're coming up with something that works for you, you know. And you're gonna, if you're a big time food addict and you're very overweight, there's just, uh, uh, unless you had some kind of near death experience or something, you're just not gonna find it in you to be perfect, sticking to the perfect routine. And if you have this idea, in your self that oh but it must happen this way i must do it this 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 so i've lost this i, I, I calculated it though if i do this i'm gonna lose this amount of weight until this date uh, and then you if you fuck up once now you're like ah oh, it didn't happen the way it was supposed to eh, no i'll never get better uh, and then you just quit you know i've seen it too many times but if you embrace that your way is not the right way god's way is the right way Embrace that this had to happen. All these fuck-ups of mine, they had to happen for me to come to a point where I stopped fucking up or when I, you know, gradually start doing it less until I reach the point that they let go, they let God. Truly, really, you have to understand again, you can't just pray and be like, oh, but God, you're going to fix it for me, right? You're going to have to keep taking action. But, you know, it's like you're stumbling in the dark. You just know in what direction to go. But it's dark, you don't know if you're gonna walk into a trap, you're gonna hurt yourself, you're gonna stumble or fall. You have to always rise up and be like, yeah, I am not quite sure what has to happen this way. I can't really see it, but I keep on moving forward. And then you will get there eventually. Like, I have this a lot in my life right now. Things have not happened in the way I would have wanted to. And look, I have attachment to it too. It's, it's not about perfectionism again, but on some level, because of what I've gone through, I know this, that okay, I have to let go of my way, but clearly it didn't happen. The more I hold on to my way, uh, the, the worse things just got. I had to let go of my way, just embrace that I don't really know why things have to happen exactly this way right now. And then gradually I see more and more why they had. I see what I'm learning, I see the ways I'm growing, but there are many ways, like one goal I have right now, for instance, I want to wake up when I came here to Greece. I wake up 
I woke up so motivated, like from the start, almost every day, you know. And if I woke up like slightly like uh, angry sometimes, I don't know, sometimes things come up the subconscious while you sleep. Um, I could very quickly, by just taking some actions, the coach shower, right, an Instagram post, like doing some positive actions, I was in my super top mindset. Right now, I'm feeling better most uh, days, like the second half of the day. Like, yeah, cool, now, tomorrow I'm gonna do this and this and this. Then I wake up with a shittiest feeling, you know, and I'm like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want it to be that way. Because now I can't do all the things I was supposed to because my mind is just not clear now. I can't even remember the way I was feeling almost the day before. But now I'm just like, okay, okay, that's how things have to do now. I have to gradually raise my baseline here. I can't force it, clearly. I can't have attachment and just give up on everything. Okay, I do whatever I can do now then. I gradually raise my baseline. Then there's gonna come a point when you think of things this way. There's always gonna come a point when you're like, ah, I see exactly why it had to happen this way. Now you can't, when you've reached the goal, when you've gotten what you wanted, it doesn't matter that it didn't look the way you wanted it to before, or you thought it was gonna look. Because now you're there and you see there was no other way. There was literally no other way. Ah. And the thing is, don't feel like if you like find yourself trying to embrace this mindset, and then you come to some point where you just give up for a bit. Don't feel like you've now, no, I, I let it go. Uh, I stopped trusting it, like I fucked up. As soon as you go back to, okay, apparently like that's fuck up, that you felt that way. That can be part of the process too. If you just embrace that, okay, this is what my way looks like, just has to. But if you, I guess I should have emphasized this earlier in the video, if you feel like something when it didn't go the way you thought, that that fucked everything up, that becomes the truth. You are the co-creator of reality. This is what I'm saying with a correlation with the mind of God. Whatever you decide is going on, is what's going on, do you understand? Within, within the laws of the universe, of course. Do you see what I'm saying, right? I just stopped to think of it because I have many other examples from my, from my past life, I guess. I could have, when I had, didn't have this mindset at all. And things did because I had that mindset that, ah, uh, no, it didn't happen my way. Everything is against me. I can never get what I want. It just becomes more true. It just becomes more true. So the more you just decide that no things are happening exactly the way I'm getting the lessons I need in order to grow. The more you think like that, the more it's going to become the truth. All right. Okay, guys, please like comment all comments and likes help support the channel so it's very much appreciated please um, contact me on my instagram or email i am taking on coaching clients hit me up and i tell you about my different options for coaching please subscribe for more content about fitness fasting losing weight building muscle self-improvement stoicism mental health philosophy mindset it's a mindset guys quite literally let go of your way let god's way happen just happen okay guys peace